Hi there, in this tutorial I'm just going to quickly go over how to make a vectorized halftone effect in Illustrator. The um, process is really easy and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so first off we're just going to draw out a shape and apply a gradient to it. So um, just for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to draw a star, like so. And I'm going to just apply a simple black to white gradient using our gradient dialog box here. Again, you can find this up in the window drop down. It should be under, where is it? There it is, gradient or control F9. So, yeah, I'm just going to apply a simple black to white gradient. I'm just going to bump the uh, black in a bit just so we can have a bit more black on the top of it. And I'm just going to make the angle 90 degrees so the black comes from the top down to the bottom. All right, um, now with our object selected, all we're going to do is just going to come up to effect. And we're just going to go pixelate and color halftone. And this will bring up our color halftone dialog box. And in here, I'm just going to slap in 20 pixels. I'm going to make it quite big because I'm working on A4 page. I want to be able to see the um, halftone circles. So I'm just going to make it 20 there. And we're just going to change all these values to zero, like so, and just hit OK. OK, so pretty much we have our our um, half tone effect going on there however the effect um, the effects menu are all done through bitmaps I want this to be vector and I also want it to be transparent so I can um, the black circles will sit on top of whatever I draw behind it at the moment there is a white background and if we draw a box and send it to the back you can see that the white sits on top of whatever's behind it we don't want that so I'm going to turn this shape this um, bitmap effect into vectors so we can then go and plonk it on top of whatever we want. So to do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to go object expand appearance and it should just expand the effect we have on there and make a bitmap image and then I'm just going to go object and live trace and then tracing options and this will bring up our tracing tracing options dialog box and we're just going to set it to black and white um, make sure the blur is zero and we're just going to go and make our path fitting one pixel minimum error area zero corner angle are zero and just hit the ignore white tick option and we're just going to click preview just to make sure that comes out all right that looks all good and we're just going to hit trace now that's still not going to be fully editable vector graphics so what we're going to do is we're just going to do the final step of going object expand and just making sure the object and the full tick boxes are ticked hit ok and that should change it to editable vectors like so and because we ticked the ignore white button it should be all um, transparent as well so we can go ahead and stick a box behind it like that and there we have it easy as that so if you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to hit the like button, that always helps. Also subscribe, I do plan on making a lot more of these, and uh, yeah, have a nice day.